Alex with Stratify here. We just got back after putting about 800 miles on our development Focus RS. Uh, it was uh, a combination of uh, family driving and it was a combination of canyon driving and it really highlighted the uh, dual purpose and uh, dual use of this car that does so well. So let's go over some of the components. Let's give you guys a bit of an update on how our car is doing and what we're doing here. So um, the one of the parts that we're specifically testing other than tuning and tuning and tuning of course because the more experience and the more development you do of tuning the better uh, the better it comes out and the more we can offer our customers uh, but on top of that uh, the pressure sensor at the outlet of the intercooler the tip sensor which you can see if you look right in there but it's hard to catch on camera uh, is a new unit it's available on our website it's a four bar uh, that we're testing making sure we don't have any problems uh, at high altitudes uh, at different boost levels and so on and that's performed very well the engine itself so we have a forged um, forged rods and forged pistons in this car that we did when we did the head gasket this is about seven eight thousand miles ago and uh, they're manly uh, rods they're the molly pistons they're standard size because we didn't machine the motor at all had very low mileage and then you know what it's worked great it doesn't burn any oil they're quiet the coolant stays where it should be so we've been very happy with this upgrade that we're, we're able to put in when ford did the head gasket on this car we also have a slightly upgraded turbo now this is a mild hybrid just went from a 63 millimeter exducer compressor to a 67 millimeter. This was done by Puma Speed early, early on. And you know, on pump gas, you're not gonna see a ton of gain in terms of performance, simply because you knock, you run into the knock threshold. So um, there's there's different options on the market right now. We have the PT, uh, the NX2, which is really common and quite popular and works very well on our website. Uh, but that kind of turbo again. Uh, you know, make sure you, you made it with ox fuel um, to be able to run ethanol content, to be able to increase the octane because you're not really gonna see uh, the performance benefits of those higher boost levels where that turbo really shines. Uh, cooling wise, um, this car has got the ETS front mount intercooler. In front, really not much to say there, works as it should. And uh, it's, got, uh, it's got a downpipe, still has the OEM exhaust. Everything has come together to work really well um, and this trip highlights that and well, let's go over some of the other components that, that make it uh, make it that much more enjoyable. So the car is on the XTA uh, coilovers by ST which is a KW shock. Uh, it's uh, one way adjustable so uh, it's not quite like a variant 3 but the spring rates they chose for this kit and the fact that it has camber plates it makes it really hard to beat. The camber in the front of the car is set at minus three and as you can see that even with long-term driving on these re71s and these have seen some autocross use you can see that i'm still wearing the outside more than the inside so don't be afraid to run more camber on the car get a kit that has um, camber plates because the, these cars chew the outside of the tire if you drive them in autocross conditions if you drive them aggressively so don't be afraid to run more camber if you do drive drive your car um, aggressively through turns. Uh, now, in terms of the tires, so these are the RE71s and they do wear fast, they are a little bit noisy, but they're an extremely stable tire. So if you see warm conditions a lot in your area and uh, you really you really wanna maximize your grip, this is a great street slash autocross slash, you know, even track day tire that you can use. Um, and uh, just don't don't let them wear down too much if you're gonna see wet conditions because uh, they don't uh, disperse water as well as something like a Michelin PS4 Ace or something like that. <clears throat> the other things uh, about this car, so I, I mentioned on the dual, dual purpose of it. So it's, you know, you're able to fit multiple child seats inside, you're able to sit comfortably and, uh, and you're able to then, you know, unload all that uh, and then go have fun at all cross, go have fun through the canyons. And it's, it really makes it, uh, makes it the, what is special about it. Uh, in the back, there's plenty of room here. One of the quick things I did is I pulled everything out so we can lower the floor, gave us a bit of extra room, but really for, for a trip out where you're gonna see some fun driving and some fun roads. Um, and you also want to uh, take the family out, take friends out, and just have a little bit more space. It's hard to beat this package when modified a little bit and, and tuned to really highlight 
and enhance some of its already great capabilities.